Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So real quick, I am filming in a kind of an awkward place right now. Um, I am getting ready to set up for my live stream, which is about to happen. Um, you guys will be watching this video uh, the day after my live stream, but I wanted to film this video real quick before my live stream, and I had already moved my computer over to my other desk for better lighting for that, and then I realized, oh, Oh no, I wanted to film, but my computer's in the way, so I'm like, I'll just I'll just move over here. So that's why we're in a new location. I do still like my new filming setup, so normally we will be over there, but I really wanted to film this because tomorrow, which is Monday, the day you are seeing this video, is my last day of my skincare uh, Project 10 Pan that I have been doing with my friend Samantha. So if you guys have missed it, I will link the intro above, but basically uh, about two months ago, we gave ourselves about 60 days to do this. Um, Samantha and I decided to work together on a project 10 pan and we chose to do all skincare items. So we chose 10 skincare products that we wanted to finish up in two months. And if you're not familiar with Samantha March, I definitely highly recommend that you go check out her channel. I will have her channel linked down below um, along with her video. Samantha is one of the nicest people I have ever met on YouTube. She is such a genuine person. Um, if you like my videos, you will love her videos. I get a lot of inspiration from her. She's just a fantastic person and um, she's going through a rough time right now. So go support her. She could use it. She's amazing and you guys will really love her. You might hear a little noise from the storm going on outside. It's very uh, windy and it's pouring rain, but let's get into this Project 10 Pan. So if you missed my last update, um, last time I gave you guys my one month update, I had not finished any of the 10 products. And that's, I think, the first time I've ever done an update where I had nothing finished yet. So that was... Uh, that was like scary. I'm like, I'm not gonna get any of these products done. But um, as of this update, I definitely have finished a few products. So let's begin with the products I was able to finish off. All right, so the first thing that I finished off and completed was the um, so Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. This was the travel size uh, version. And I told you guys I wanted to use up this little guy because I had the full size and I had a bunch of the little squeezy tubes of this as well. And I love this product, but I don't love the travel size um, that comes in this container. And I've mentioned that before when I've talked about this product, I hope they move it into the squeezy tube for travel because it's not easy to travel with this. This is not the easiest thing to pack. So um, for that reason, I was like, I just want to get rid of this little tub and I'll just use the bigger one when I'm at home and the little squeezy tubes when I travel. So um, I love the actual product though. The product is amazing, but I was able to finish that off. The next thing that I finished off, and that was really close last time on my update to finishing this, so I, I, I knew it wouldn't um, be hard to do. This is a body oil from Mulin and Sparrow in the, sh in, the, uh, in the scent French Lavender. This actually is really nice. This is probably the first time I've ever tried a body oil before, and I didn't really think I needed one, but after using this, especially in the winter, my legs are so so dry that they just soaked this up and I have not had my legs look that nice in the winter time before where they weren't like dry and flaky. So um, this was amazing and I'm definitely gonna try some more body oils. Um, this is the first brand I've ever tried, but um, I really, really liked it. It was not hard for me to go through. I used it mostly as like to moisturize my body, but I also sometimes put a couple drops in the bath along with my Epsom salts and I liked it for that too. It's such a versatile little product that I never knew I needed, but I absolutely loved it. So um, yeah, I was able to finish that off. The next thing that I finished off was a face mask, and this is from the brand Pure Cosmetics. This is their Blue Agave Mask. It's supposed to energize, and it's a peel-away mask. This, I honestly, I would not repurchase this one. Um, I did actually get this in PR through Octoly, but um, this is one that I would not repurchase. I didn't like... I didn't like the dry time. It takes like 40, 45 minutes to dry down, and because it's a peel-away mask, you can't remove it until my cat is like staring at me. It's really funny. She's like, what are you talking about? Um, anyway, <laughs> you can't remove it until it's fully dry because it's a peel away. So you guys know how it is with a peel away mask. If you try to remove it before it's fully set, it won't peel right. So it just took so long to dry that it drove me nuts. I, I can't go that long. Like I just need to get it off after, you know, 20, 30 minutes max, but this took like 40, 45 minutes. And I was like, okay, that's just too much time. I did like the way it felt. It definitely gave you that like really tingly, hydrated, very like refreshing feeling. Um, but I have other masks that do that, that don't take quite as long. 
The next thing that I was able to finish off during this project was this mask from Dr. Jart. This was another one that I was like so darn close on my last update, but it wasn't quite there. Um, this is the Derma Clear Trans Foam Clay in the green one. Um, you can buy these separately now, or you can buy it as like a three piece set of these um, Derma Clear Trans Foam Clays. Uh, this is a product I've talked a lot about on my channel. You guys are probably tired of hearing about it, but I really love this product. It's a fantastic product. It does not get enough attention. I don't know why no one ever ta talks about these. They're really, really um, gentle, but also very effective at helping to unclear to clear up any clogged pores. So I really like them a lot. I highly recommend trying them, if, especially if you have acne prone skin. I think you'll really like it. All right, and then the last product that I was able to finish off completely was this Corez uh, Black Pine Sleeping Oil. I really liked this. This is probably one of my favorite sleeping oils that I've ever tried. Um, it's hard to find a sleeping oil when you have acne prone skin that doesn't cause breakouts. In fact, I've got quite a few breakouts right now from a different oil that I've been using that I think I'm gonna have to discontinue using, but this one never made me break out. It's very lightweight. Um, it's just a really nice, quick absorbing oil, and I'm kind of missing it now, especially since I've been using a different one that I'm not enjoying. Um, I just think it did a, did a really good job of hydrating without clogging my pores, so I really liked that a lot. Okay, and now we're gonna get into the products I didn't quite finish off. Now, there was a few of these that I got really close on, so let's start with those. This particular one, I feel like I'm gonna finish either tonight or tomorrow. I'm so close. I was really hoping to get it done before the update, but it was just, just not quite there. This is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Unwrinkle Toner, and I'll show you what is left in here. All right, so as you can see, there's just the slightest tiny bit. I think tomorrow I'll be finishing this. I'll, I'll use it tonight, I'll use it tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening, and then I think that will be it. But but I will insert photos of where I began at. It was pretty pretty high up here when I began the product, pro when I began this project. So I did make a lot of progress on this product, and um, I'm really glad that I pulled this into this particular project because this was one of those products that I would sometimes remember to grab, sometimes not. So I I would be using it maybe two times a week. Um, just not regularly because I, I liked it, but I always forgot to do it. It was one of those extra steps after I cleansed, you know, you do this and then your treatments and I would always forget about this step and I would just kind of skip over it a lot and then sometimes I'd be like, oh, I need to do that toner. So it's just very random. But since I started this project and I made it a priority to use this, I've been using it religiously every single night and every single morning. Now at the beginning of the project, it took me a while to kind of get my uh, momentum going with that. So it was kind of a little hit or miss, but it was more frequent. Um, but most recently, since my last update especially, I've used it every single night and every single morning. And I really like using a toner now. And I think this is something I'm gonna continue to use. I'm obviously gonna use up what I have left in here, but I do have like three other toners in my collection. So I'm definitely going to use those as well. So once I run out of this, I'm gonna pull in a new toner and try that one out. And I'm really glad that um, this project really like helped me like solidify doing that step in my system, if that makes sense. Like I don't know that I would ever have gotten um, as consistent with using a toner had I not put it into a project like this. And this is why I love doing projects. It really does make you use things more consciously. You know, when you're just subconsciously trying to remember to do something, it doesn't happen. But when you put it in a project and you're like, I have to show them my progress in a month. It makes you remember it more. So I'm really happy I did that. And like I said, I mean, this guy is not gonna make it a couple, more than a couple more days at the most, so. All right, the next product that I definitely made really good product progress on, but just didn't quite get through it, is this here from Origins. This is the Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. Um, I had this basically was brand new when I started this project, and I have been using it every single morning. Now, if you guys watched my most recent skincare video, which I'll link above in case you missed it, I do have a completely different routine for my um, AM and for my PM, only because I store them in separate areas of my uh, of my room. So because of that, I was only using this in the morning. Uh, a couple times I'd like get up out of bed and go apply this at night, but hardly ever. It was mostly just a morning time thing. So uh, if I had been using it AM and PM, I probably would have gotten through it, but just because of the way I store my skincare and use my skincare, that didn't happen. But I will show you guys what's left in here because I did do a good job. 
And again, I will insert pictures of my start. This was basically brand new when I started, so it is pretty close to gone. I feel like I probably have maybe uh, two weeks left of use on this, so I do have quite a bit still in there. It's just, it is going to last me um, for a while still, but I'm going to continue to use this. I actually do really like this moisturizer. I think it's a great moisturizer for combo acne prone skin. I think you'd really like it. So I'm definitely going to use the rest of this up, um, just like the Peter Thomas Roth one. And I'm sure you'll be seeing both of those in an empties soon. All right, let's talk about one that I didn't do very well on next. Um, I, I mean, I kind of did. I'll, I'll, show, I'll just show you. This is from Origins. This is the Maskamizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. So this is something that you basically spray on your face right before you mask. And um, when I first pulled this into the project, I'll insert a picture. It was essentially full. I think I had used it maybe twice, maybe three times at the most. Um, so I definitely got more use out of it. So my camera's not focusing real well, but I'll show you. It's about to right here right now. So I definitely have been using it. Um, there's a few reasons why I didn't make more progress on this. First of all, it's one of those things that you don't need very much of. So when you do use it, you only spray maybe two, three sprays at the most across your face before you apply your mask. So that makes it harder to go through because you just don't need too much. The other thing is I don't mask every single night. I might mask three, four times a week, and that's when you use this, right before masking. So that all right, that also makes it harder to get through. But then the last reason that it's really hard to get through is because um, some masks, like this one for example from Pure, you can't use these together. Um, there are some masks that say to apply the mask on dry skin. Any peel away mask is gonna say that because it won't stick right to wet skin. Um, the brand new one from Peter Thomas Roth that I've been trying also can't be used on wet skin. So there are masks that I like to use that I can't use with this. So then that reduces even further how often I'm able to use it. So though all of the for all of those reasons, it made it really difficult to use this a lot. And then the other thing that made it difficult is I just don't feel like it does anything. So for that reason, I never really wanted to grab this. Now, the only exception to that is um, with these Dermaclear masks. These Dermaclear masks are really nice, but they do dry down fast. And in fact, I think they say three minutes. So you just leave it on for three minutes and then rinse it away. So if I wanted it to last me a little longer, um, I would spray first, get my face wet, and then apply this, and then it would take like 10 minutes to dry. So it, it would extend the dry down time on something like this. So for that, I like it, but I mean, I could just get my face wet if I wanted that result. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you necessarily need this spray. Because I spent a lot of money on it, I will continue to, I'll keep it in my collection and continue to use it in the instances where I can use it. Um, but it's definitely something I would not recommend purchasing, and it's not something I will repurchase when I run out of it. Um, I just kind of feel like it's a little gimmicky. I don't feel like it really does a whole lot. And like I said, it's, it's difficult to even find times that you can use it. All right, let's talk about another Sol de Janeiro product. This is the Brazilian, um, Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. Now this was, again, basically new. I brought a, a lot of things that were basically new and full into this project. I was kind of aiming high on this one, but uh, this was basically new, new when I pulled it in. I'll show you a photo of where it was at. And I have used this regularly every single day, uh, mostly in the morning, but kind of uh, frequently throughout the day as well for touch-ups. Um, and I make good progress, but it's just one of those things. It takes a little bit to get through a lip balm. So I did do well though. So this is rolled up all the way. That is all that I have left. Um, I'm going to continue using this product just like the rest of them. I am going to continue using this product and I'm thinking I should be able to get through this before my next empties video because it is going pretty quickly now. I feel like once you get down a little bit, it starts to go a little faster. So, so definitely look forward to seeing this in an empty soon. Um, I have noticed something about my preferences on this product though, since I started it in this project, I thought I really liked this, but I wasn't using it regularly. I had other lip balms that I would kind of mix in with it. Um, and since I've started using this pretty much regularly, I, I do use a different one at night, but I use this during the day. Um, it's not as hydrating as I need. I, I have very dry lips. I just have chronically dry lips. So it doesn't give me enough hydration, but it smells nice and it feels nice. I just, I, it's not quite enough moisture for my lips. So it's something I won't repurchase when it's gone. 
Alrighty, and then the very last product in this project was this guy here from Dr. Brandt. This is the Needles No More. Um, it's basically like a plumping treatment, and um, I saved this for last because I can't really give you guys an update on where it was when I started or where it is now because it's a container that you can't see inside of, and you can't really even feel on this one how full it is. Um, it's one of those products that feels super light when you first get it, so it's like really hard to gauge how much you have left in here. I will say that I was using this every single day, but I use it as a spot treatment, so I only apply it in my smile lines and on my forehead. Those are my areas of concern as far as fine lines and wrinkles. Oh, I have been using it on my neck most recently, but I just started doing that. Um, so yeah, I've been using it a lot. I do really like it. I have noticed a difference in my smile lines being more plump, but I don't know how much is left. So I'm going to just keep using this guy because I think it's a great product. It is something I would repurchase. I think it does do a really, really nice job, um, but I just, I can't give you guys an update on, on where I'm at. So that was all of the products in my Project 10 pan. I was really happy with what I was able to accomplish in this project. It's the first time I've ever done a skincare project pan, and it really was an eye-opening um, thing. I definitely think I'll do more skincare projects in the future because um, I learned great things about products that I didn't really know that I would like. Like, for instance, the toner. This is something that I am going to incorporate from now on into my routine. Um, I also found out that I like body oil where I, this was kind of just sitting and collecting dust because I didn't really know what to do with it. But once I started experimenting with it and trying new ways to use it up, I found out I actually really like this and I'm gonna try some more body oils. So those were things that were really nice to learn about and then I definitely learned about products that I didn't like as much that I thought I maybe liked more than I did. So this was a very... I feel like this was a very productive project for me. It taught me a lot about my skincare preferences, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys have questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.